Honorable Mayor. Chairperson, the uh, Honourable Member obviously needs to be reminded that you can have Karl Marx or you can have economic growth, but you can't have both. Speaker, we are in deep economic trouble with the midnight cabinet reshuffle, radical economic transformation, the defanging of national treasury and the assault on the South African Reserve Bank delivering recession, high inflation, mass unemployment, fiscal slippage, staggering national debt, zombie state-owned enterprises and looming sovereign credit rating downgrades uh, to junk status for South Africa. Of course, we have a number of plans to deal with the fact that we are in deep economic trouble. We have radical economic transformation. We have the National Development Plan. We have the Nine Point Plan. We have the New Growth Path. We have the Industrial Action uh, Plan. And believe it or not, we have the 14 Point Plan for inclusive economic growth. And what these plans have in common is that none of them have been able to deliver tangible economic growth for South Africa. And if you are in any doubt, don't believe me. Believe the Minister in the Presidency, Jeff Rodebe, who last week told the Appropriations Committee that the nine-point plan, and I quote, has not yet resulted in an improved impact on the economy. An extraordinary admission. And why is that? First, we have shocking leadership. We have a president who is clueless and cannot remember the nine points in his own nine-point plan. We were told not so long ago that the nine-point plan comprised of agriculture amongst others, and there are many. And then we have the Minister of Water Affairs and, and Sanitation, Nomvulo Mokunyane, who believes that if the RAND falls, we will pick it up again. Of course, that is not to say that all members of the Cabinet are clueless, because to his credit, we have the Minister of Police, Fakila Mbalula, who pointed out that the Honourable Nomvulo Mokunyane was a factory fault. Second, we have policy uncertainty. We have the President saying that the National Development Plan is the plan. But then we have the Deputy Minister of Public Works, Jeremy Cronin, saying that the Development Plan is, and I quote, not a ready-made implementation plan. It is more of a vision sandwiched between an opening section of cringeworthy poetry and a clumsy attempt to present a social contract. But then we have the President saying that radical economic transformation is the plan. And then we have the Honourable Deputy President saying, no, radical economic transformation is not the plan. The plan is inclusive growth. To clarify, we have the Minister in the Presidency saying, no, the plan is not inclusive growth. The plan is radical economic transformation through rapid inclusive growth. To make matters worse, we have the Minister of Finance implementing his 14-point plan for inclusive economic growth. But then we have the Minister in the President saying, no, the 14-point plan is not a plan, it's a confidence-boosting measure. This is not a plan, it is a fruit salad. Of course, to his credit, the Minister of Finance seems to have abandoned the term radical economic transformation altogether in favour of inclusive economic growth. And third, we have what we could only call sabotage, because the fact is there have been a series of catastrophic political decisions that have wiped out any prospect of tangible economic growth in South Africa. These include President Jacob Zuma's decision to fire the former Minister of Finance, Nkrankla Nene, on the 9th of December 2015. And they include President Jacob Zuma's decision to fire the former Minister of Finance, Praveen Gordon, on the 30th of March 2017 to boost efficiency and effectiveness, would you believe? and the tabling of the mining charter by the Minister of Mineral Resources, not to mention the assault on the South African Reserve Bank. What this 
demonstrates is that politics is killing the economics in South Africa, which means that to sort out the economics, we have to sort out the politics in South Africa. And that is why millions of young people who do not have jobs or have given up looking for Honourable jobs Manier, will be voting to support a new beginning in South Africa. Order.